It's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, if you have time for a lunch break, maybe add a little bit of time to it. It's a great afternoon to do it. This will be the warmest that our temperatures will be here probably throughout the rest of this work week. Live city cam over Providence showing the mostly clear sky still here heading into the afternoon hours. 59 degrees, the temperature winds light and variable humidity is running low all is looking good on live pinpoint doppler 12 radar we are tracking some showers off to our north and west and i'll show you that here in uh, just a minute but uh, the game just getting ready to get underway here in a little bit for the uh, red sox home opener and we are looking at uh, dry skies for most of the game time at Yankee Stadium. Temperatures should climb there into the upper 50s to lower 60s over the next couple of hours and then falling down about 53 at 6 in the evening. They're also running the risk of one of those isolated rain showers. It's from a cold front that's moving our direction. You can see the showers and storms now sitting over eastern New York and uh, eastern Pennsylvania. There's been some snow on the backside of it. We're not going to see any snow but we will see a gusty winds and even the potential for an isolated thunderstorm as this rolls through here between about 4 and 8 o'clock in the evening. It's all tied into a strong cold front, one that will send our temperatures tumbling this evening. And we'll really notice the change later tonight and into tomorrow. Your future cast here, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, shows still dry skies, hazy sun. Notice this line of showers starting to push our way. Now, most of them just be a quick uh, shower passing through, but there is the potential for an isolated gusty thunderstorm. It would contain possibly some heavy downpours and winds that uh, could top 40 miles an hour. Clearing skies behind it, it's a quick mover. So by 11 o'clock, we're clear and those temperatures should already be into the 30s. Wake up tomorrow morning, many of us down into the 20s. And tomorrow afternoon, dry skies, mostly sunny, but noticeably cooler. So again, the temperatures may climb up over the next hour or two into the upper 50s to low 60s inland, low 50s along the coastline, and then cooling off this evening, 6 o'clock heading home from work, already in the 40s in Smithfield, around 51 in Providence. Those temperatures tumble into the 30s by 10 o'clock in the evening, and then later tonight all the way again into the upper 20s to low 30s when you wake up tomorrow morning in the high tomorrow afternoon, only in the low to mid 40s. So your seven day future cast, much cooler weather on the way again this evening for the commute home from work. We will be watching for an isolated thunderstorm early in the evening, could contain some wind gusts northwest 40 to 50 miles an hour and perhaps a brief downpour with it. I think most of us though, again, it's hit or miss, so not everyone's going to see one. Sunshine tomorrow and 44 degrees, but the wind chill is going to take a while to climb from wind chills in the 20s. It'll still feel in the 30s at times in the afternoon tomorrow with those gusty winds. So don't put away the uh, winter coat just yet. Wednesday is another chilly day. We start to recover by Thursday afternoon, but we've got a stretch of nights in the 20s. Friday, I do have some showers in the forecast. We're going to get brushed by a storm that'll pass to our south. Just some late day rain showers the way it's looking right now. And that sets us up for a dry weekend with temperatures in the 50s on Saturday and again on Sunday. So don't forget, you can take the live pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast, all of your breaking news and video with you. Just point your web browser to WPRI.com from any computer, smartphone, or tablets. So about a two-day cool shot for us this week, Patrick.